On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. So right in the morning, for those who traverse into church, you don't know, keep on the spot news media, loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. Also remember the regular members of John Public and also members of the diaspora. So my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you in the morning. Yeah. Boy, may I tell you, it's really rough out the road upon some people, you know, because some of us as regular members of John Public, contributing members to society, would I really want to get a break more time? I don't know if you travel the world and go see where I go on over there, so in Uncle Sam or Canada or even England. If you get a taste of what life is all about outside of Jamaica and probably work some of the nice currency for return back home, build a business, and you don't know live comfortable. But for some reason, that has always been a heck of a task for some of us to achieve. Because of all of the red tape and all of the little intricacies surrounding attaining a visa or getting a permanent residence to live abroad and all these things. But right now on your screen, a known crime influencer, also a known violence producer in the Craigtown space of the Kingston Western Police Division. Who am I making reference to? The man who is second in command to his father who is also the head of the Craigtown gang. I'm making reference now to the son of the leader of the Craigtown gang that goes by the name of Guess. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So in recent blogs, I showed a picture of Guess on an airplane. We did not get the destination of that airplane. But however, and whatever the circumstances surrounding him leaving Jamaica, He's presently now in Bronx, New York. Yeah, man. Right in our Uncle Sam. Right there, so guess, end up right now. So, guess a controversial figure that I have featured on On The Spot News Media quite a few times. In which him and Ben Bo Street, man, them was friends. Then friends turned enemies. Then peace treaty signed. Peace treaty broke. Wooly a man get slapped away. And all these type of things. My most recent blog with guests, I played a voice note. Well, I played voice notes that he sent allegedly to another gangster, a farmer friend now turned four from the Benbow Street community that goes by the name of Drive By. Yeah, man, him sent a portion to treat to drive by and make him know, say, yo, I threw him there from their yard right now because he would have turned up the badness and show them what time it is. So, right I know, as I say, Guessing our Uncle Sam, they are Bronx, New York, I go and live the La Vida Loca. So I'm going to show a picture right now of Guess in the arms of his dearly beloved old Dutty Kana girl. Who me attack? I'm pretty sure enough people are going to see her and pick her up right away. Some people are going to wonder who she Well, she is one of the female them. We always have guests back in the ranks. Here, yeah, man, him Dutty Kana boy lifestyle. She always have him back. I did a blog some time ago too, when the police they make a raid round a Craig Town and find a strap in a little youth lunch pack. That strap did find over fear anti yard and she came on social media and she go on with a bag of things because she's a social media influencer. So when time she goes up up now and go live, you don't know say hundreds of people jump on and that right away and I watch where I go on and most of the time, them try to take fear aside because you don't know how the social media thing set. From you follow somebody and you like somebody anything, then say, more than likely, them are going to say, boy, a gospel without even trying to get some sort of proof. Them just run with the ears. Yeah, me know, say, people are going to say, they know the same thing you do on this spot. Well, me can't tell you this. 
and this part news media and I just come out here just so. And this part news media has proven himself time and time again to be a credible source of news. And I'm man enough to say that I know all the while we get it 100% correct. But we try to get it as close as possible to the 100% or as close as possible to the real truth. If not the real truth, that is what Andy Spot News Media has built his platform on over the few years that he has been on this medium. So right you now, look on your screen. This is the picture. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. Twep, twep. And guess, sitting down on a bed, I will a small reasoning. What is that small reasoning about? Nobody know. But my guess is, they might pick out baby name. Yeah, man, yeah, what mouth drop. Yeah, man, twep, twep. He's pregnant for the infamous Crickton character. Guess. So my peeps, the lifestyles of criminals in our society, them definitely are live better than the regular members of John Public. And the opportunities presented to them is most of the times way better than what is presented to the contributing members of our humble society. So it just goes to show how unfair the system treats the regular members of John Public versus the old criminal. And I hope that the police officers are watching and I hope that they can work with them international counterparts because I'm pretty sure guess that they are foreign for changing life. Guess not they are foreign to turn around and sprinkle some holy water upon him foreign and become a Christian and live a good, decent, law-abiding, citizen type of life in a Uncle Sam. I'm pretty sure that guess is there to fund the Cricktown gang and guess is also there to send off some more straps to arm up the Cricktown massive so that them can fight the West Kingston fight as always against them rival gangs. So I would definitely advise the authorities for look into this one closely. Just like how them need for look into the Walton bad breed boss, Ramos, where they are Florida. The six boss, where they are Florida, same way. And all other reputed criminals, gang members, gang leaders, where in a Canada, where in a US and in a England, where I send back the funds and I send back the straps them, come a Jamaica for create mayhem and anarchy. Yeah, man. So my peeps, a data go on pan what I go on. So make a move on to the next set of stories right now. So over there in a Linstead, St. Catherine, the police them finally make a breakthrough with the body of a female with them fine in a cane piece. Real sad situation star for say a mother of five just lose her life brutally courtesy of the old dirty corner boy of them. So the St. Catherine North Police has confirmed that the woman that was found in bushes at Cheesefield District in Linston, St. Catherine was indeed taken out courtesy of the old dirty corner boy of them. She has been identified as Nicole Sital, a mother of five. Can you imagine my peeps? A mother of five. She lived in the community where she was found lifeless. Her body, which was clad in pink shorts and a blouse, reportedly had multiple knife-up, knife-up wounds all over. Passers-by found the body this morning, lying face down in bushes right beside the cane field. So you know, say, that looked like a some domestic business that's gone wrong. And it would seem as if a certain time of the year, when you talk about late January to late March, for the past couple of years, we seem to have a spike in domestic cases resulting in loss of life during that time. Even over there in Portmore, may I tell you, a whole heap of clean clothes madman you see a walk up and down Pan Street there. In fact, this clean clothes madman was a teacher where I teach people picnic. It is said that him take the life of a mother and father. Can you imagine that, my peeps? We are talking about the vice principal. For the St. Andrew Prep School and her husband, boy, may I tell you, who is also a clergyman. So they have both been identified as 55-year-old Phyllis Ramsey and 69-year-old Cecil Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey, as me say, is a clergyman. The couple was reportedly knifed up multiple times by their son, who is also a teacher. It is said that the son is suffering from some sort of mental issues. So can you imagine this monster a teach our picnic school? 
a man that was capable of taking the life of both of his parents. This is a picture of his mother to the right, standing beside a student and the principal for the St. Andrew Prep School. Nice lady. Trust me, when I did my investigations about this woman, a very nice lady. Father, very nice man, same way. And for both of them to lose them life in such a way, boy, I may tell you, the one that rough is a big pill that for anybody at all swallow. So anyway, my peeps, I just want to know if you keep a lookout for persons who don't think may be suffering from some sort of mental illness and to make the authorities know it can definitely save a life because can you imagine if this man here mad pill the chippy in pan him in front of a classroom of students? Boy, I wouldn't want to see the outcome of something like that. So my peeps, make the authorities aware. So I can move on to the next story right now. A double loss of life go on in the coronation market the downtown Kingston. The two men have since been identified as 50-year-old shopkeeper Carlington Armstrong of Bond Street in the Kingston Western area there, Kingston 14, and a 21-year-old man, Arnaldo Turner, from Freeman's Hall in Albert Town, Trelawney. Boy, I tell you from Adia, the Trelawney massive and make the news and make the death news a whole lot. It rough out a John shop there. But right now, I tell you, Jamaica a run red. So make a move on to the next story. So watch this now, my peeps. Another Trelawney resident has met his demise. But this time over there in Jackson Lane in Lucy, Hanover. He has since been only identified as Oret, a car wash and a bar owner. It is said that the old dirty can of boy them pounce upon Oret and just fool him up a can. Leaving him lifeless right in front of his business establishment. You can see where Oret was laying face down in a pool of you know what. Clad only in a blue shorts and slippers. Boy, the man them deal with the business owner way. So as I say my peeps, a lot of Trelawney residents have been making rounds on social media. And not in the positive light. So my peeps, I'm pretty sure for all these knockings and clappings where you see are going with the Chilani residents. Look out for reprisal knockings and clappings. Same way, yeah man. I remember if you look amongst you too, in those elite communities, nobody feels that you live in a gated community. You're safe. When you see where going with the, when the police them reveal and uncover 13 high-powered rifles hidden in a house in an upscale Trelawney community. And when time I say that, I not just talk about down a country. We are talking about right across the length and breadth of Jamaica. The criminals, them, no broke no more. Back in the days, them days, they gone. Them man can afford to live amongst Jamaica's elite. So no need to look out on a yai ball and stop taking it for granted. So no safe because you no live uptown. Yeah, man. So I'll definitely be bringing the facts surrounding some of these last of life that I just spoke about in subsequent newscast. So remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.